Hello everyone, welcome to another tutorial for Apache Guacamole. Today we will be um, learning how to configure Apache Guacamole to be able to authenticate using SAM. And so today we will be using ADFS, Active Directory Federation Services, and configuring this so we can use our ADFS SAM to authenticate into Guacamole instead of using something like LDAP or local users that are created in Guacamole. The first thing you want to do is head over to the Guacamole release archive and I have that in the link description below. You want to go and select your version of Apache Guacamole. If you've been following my tutorial from the beginning, um, we did install the version 1.4.0 and you want to go ahead and download the guacamole sso extension so if you click on that it's going to download i already have that downloaded on here and then you're going to have to go extract that file and once you extract it you're going to open the folder go into sam and here is your guacamole of single sign-on um, jar file. And then the next thing you're going to do is go into um, your SSH. Um, and you're going to use SFTP to transfer that file into the guacamole folder. So you're going to CD into ETC guacamole and you cd into extensions we've done this um, in the previous videos when we installed um, LDAP. the extension we just downloaded uh, and extracted the sam guacamole authored sam you can use um, either sftp ftp or whichever means you want to use as long as you copy this file into the guacamole slash extensions directory. You can see I have it in here with the LDAP extension, even though we're not using LDAP at this point. Um, so you just want to put it in this folder. If you come back into your SSH and go into that folder, you should be able to see that, extent, that extension in there. And once you have that done, you just want to go back into the guacamole directory and we want to go or open up our guacamole properties folder or file. And once you do that, there's a few configurations that we have to do. I also have the SAM authentication documentation listed below in the description section we're going to have to configure the sam identity provider metadata url or sam idp metadata url we're going to have to do the sam idp url which is basically your guacamole's extension or um, url then we're going to have to do um, the entity id uh, the callback URL and we can use SAM strict to do login checks when the user is trying to log in. Okay, we can also enable debug if we want to see debug login while we're still trying to configure this to make sure everything is working fine. Okay, so going back to my command line, you can see on here that I have set the SAM IDP metadata URL to my ADFS server's um, idp url so it's gonna be the same for you from here from the federation's metadata all the way to the end that's going to be the same if you use adfs only if you use something else like azure azure you're gonna have to go on there and get that um, sam idp metadata url but for you you're gonna put this you're just gonna have to replace this with the fully qualified um, domain name of your um, ADFS server. If it's an internal server, you can also put in the IP address and then the rest of the metadata URL. So um, um, Guacamole knows where to forward those uh, requests. 
The next you want to do is your SAM entity ID, which is basically your Guacamole's IP address or the fully qualified um, domain name. And the same with the callback URL, that's going to be the same. And we want to put, since we're doing this in the test environment, I'm going to leave my SAM streak to false. But note, as part of the documentation, if you are doing this in a production environment, you want to make sure the SAM streak is set to true. Okay. So um, I'm going to leave debug as true because I want to have the logs in case we need to make any changes. Skip if unavailable. Yes, we're going to skip SAM if it's unavailable. And the next thing we're going to configure here is we want to make sure that all the uh, all the authentication for Guacamole are automatically redirected to our ADFS server login page. So every time you try to access your, your um, Apache Guacamole, instead of it showing you this login page, it's going to automatically redirect you to our ADFS authentication page so users can authenticate that way okay with that being said i'm gonna save this and i will restart restart guacamole guacdi and i will restart tomcat 9. So now I'm going to go back to this page and I will try to refresh so you can see what's going to happen. So now when I try to access our guacamole page, it automatically redirects us to our SAM authenticator or authentication page. And if I go ahead and put in my username and password, it is going to log me into our guacamole instance okay i'm gonna set up my deal and note this deal authentication is coming from adfs and not from guacamole and there we go now we were successfully able to log into apache guacamole using sound Thank you for um, joining and watching another video in this tutorial series. If you have any questions, you can leave it down at the comment section below. Please do subscribe to my channel and I wish you all a wonderful day. Thank you.